Hello guys, welcome to all clear tube. Now we are going to see how to solve the following linear programming problem using simplex method. So the question will be given like this. Uh, max z is equal to 4x1 plus 10x2 which is the ob objective function and subject to uh, these are the constraints. So there are three constraints given in this problem. So first you have to check whether the problem is given in max. Uh, in this problem uh, there is no problem. It's uh, actually uh, it's already given in max. Suppose uh, if the problem is given in min. Say uh, min z is equal to 4x1 plus 10x2. Then you have to uh, convert it to max. So for that you have to multiply the word equation uh, by minus 1 into minus 1. So uh, it will become max z is equal to minus 4x1 minus 10x2. And uh, second condition is that uh, suppose if there is a, a greater than or equal to symbol in the constraints say uh, 2x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 50. You have to convert it this to uh, less than or equal to inequality. So uh, you have to multiply the whole equation by minus. So so which means minus 2x1 minus x2 less than or equal to uh, minus 50. So after doing this, uh, you have, you can now proceed to the uh, problem solving steps. So the first step is uh, introduction of slack variables. So uh, you have to add slack variables to the objective function. So uh, max z is equal to 4x1 uh, plus 10x2 and uh, the number of slack variables depends upon the number of constraints given in the question. So uh, this in this question there are three constraints. So there are we take uh, three slack variables s1, s2 and s3. Uh, and uh, in the constraints uh, 2x1 plus x2 plus s1 we are adding slack variables and removing the inequality sign. Uh, to, remo uh, to remove the uh, inequality sign we are adding slack variables uh, to the constraints. So we get 2x1 plus x2 plus s1 equal to 50 and 2x1 plus 5x2 plus s2 equal to 100 2x1 plus 3x2 plus s3 equal to 90. Okay guys, now we will proceed to the initial iteration. So, uh, in initial iteration, uh, it, there will be a table with the following columns. So, CB, YB, XB, X1, X2, uh, S1, S2, S3 and Theta. Okay, what is CB? CB is the coefficient of the slack variables in the objective function. So, uh, here is the objective function. Um, so in CB we'll uh, put the coefficient of slack variables in the objective function. So the coefficient of slack variable S1 is 0, S2 is 0 and S3 is also 0. So in the first column we'll write 0, 0 and 0. And uh, YB consists of the slack variables. So S1, S2, and S3. XB is the uh, right hand side of the constraints. So uh, this is the constraint. So in the first constraint uh, the right hand side is 50. So we write 50. In the second constraint it's 100 and in third it's 90. So 50, 100 and 90. And uh, x1 x2 is the uh, coefficient of x1 x2 in the uh, constraints so coefficient of x1 and x2 in the first constraint is 2 and 1 so 2 1 and uh, 2 and 5 so 2 5 and 2 3 And uh, in the S1, for a uh, first uh, constraint, it's 1, and the remain uh, S2 and S3 are 0. And for second constraint, it's 
S2 is 1 and the S1 and S3 are 0 and in the third constraint S3 is 1 and S1 and S2 are 0. Okay, now we have to find Zj minus Cj. So, Cj, uh, okay, you have to write Cj here. So, Cj is, okay, Cj is uh, uh, the coefficient of uh, x1 in uh, Z, that is the objective function, so 4, and x2 is 10, and the uh, coefficient of s1, s2, s3, all are 0. Okay, now we have to find uh, Zj minus Cj. To find Zj minus Cj for uh, uh, this column, you have to multiply uh, x1 with Cb uh, minus uh, the uh, minus Cj. So 2 into 0 is 0 plus uh, 2 into 0 is 0. Okay, I'll write it and show you. So for this, 2 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 2 into 0 um, minus uh, the above variable so my above number so minus 4 which gives you minus 4 so the value here is minus 4 similarly 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 5 into 0 plus 3 into 0 minus 10 gives you minus 10 so minus 10 and uh, so here it comes 0 0 and 0 now we have to take the most negative element so here minus 10 is the most negative element so we are taking this column Now we have to find theta. So to f uh, find theta, we have to divide x b by uh, x. Uh, so in the column, since this this column has the most negative element, we have to divide uh, 50 by 1. So it gives us 50. So 100 by 5 gives us 20, and 90 by 3 gives us 30. So uh, now we have to take the uh, least uh, element which in this case is 20 so we are, we are taking this row so now we get the uh, pivot uh, element this is the pivot element and th this is the pivot uh, row Okay guys, now the initial iteration is over. Since Zj minus Cj has a negative value, we should uh, proceed to the uh, next iteration which is the second iteration. Okay guys, for finding the values of, uh, of the table, values in the table for the second iteration, there is a formula. For uh, new S1, uh, this is the formula, old S1 minus corresponding uh, column coefficient into new pivot equation. So in order to find the S1, we have to find the pivot equation. So there is a formula for finding out the pivot equation. So we will find out the, uh, we will find first the pivot equation first. So in order to find the new pivot equation, this is the formula. Old pivot equation divided by the uh, pivot element. So in, the, in our case, the old uh, pivot equation is uh, this old uh, uh, row. So uh, it's so it is hundred so this is our old pivot equation now we have to divide uh, um, this by the pivot element which is uh, 5 so uh, divided by 5 so the old equation divided by 5 so 100 by 5 is uh, 20 and 100 by so 2 by 2 divided by 5 is 2 by 5 and 5 divided by 5 is 1 
zero by five is zero, one by five is one, uh, one by five, and zero divided by five is again zero. So the new uh, pivot equation is so new pivot equation is uh, twenty uh, two by five. One zero, one by five and zero. Okay, now we'll write the value of the new pivot equation in the in this uh, second iteration. So twenty mm, uh, two by five one zero one by five and zero. So twenty two by five one zero. One by five and zero. Here uh, we will write x two because in the initial iteration the uh, pivot element was in x two. So instead of s two, we will write x two here. And uh, the coefficient of x two uh, is ten. So we will write uh, the coefficient of x two, which is ten here. Now we have to find a uh, new S one and S three. We'll see how to find that. Okay, guys. Now uh, this is the formula for finding out uh, new S one equation. So the this is the old S one which uh, we got it in the uh, initial iteration. Of so fifty two one one and zero and zero. So that's what I have uh, written it here. The old S one equation. Minus corresponding column coefficient. So corresponding column coefficient of uh, S one is one. So this one, which I have taken here, one and into uh, the new pivot equation which we found out. So the new pivot equation which we found out is twenty two uh, by five one zero one by five and zero. So. Um, So when we uh, do this, uh, subtract old S one minus corresponding column coefficient to new pivot equation, we get uh, the new S one as follows. Now we have uh, written the new S one value with which we have just calculated. Now we have to find the new S three. So the formula for finding out uh, S three is uh, similar to the formula of new S one. So old old S three minus corresponding co column coefficient into new a new pivot equation. So the old S three is ninety two three zero zero and one, and the uh, column coefficient is three. So let me show you. So this is the old uh, S three and the column coefficient here is three. So we are taking this value. Into a new pivot equation, and we have to subtract old S three minus uh, this whole thing. So after doing that, we get a new S three as this. Now we have written the uh, values of the new S three in the second iteration table. Okay, guys. Now we have to find the value of Z J minus C J. Uh, the same way with which we found Z J minus C J in the first iteration. So now we'll find out. So for this column, eight by five into zero into zero plus ten into two by five plus zero into four by five minus uh, four. So it will give me. Uh, Four minus four minus four equal to zero. So zero will come here. Similarly, all the uh, values of Zj minus Cj are found out. Now we have to see the value of, of Zj minus Cj. So here we don't get any negative value, which means that uh, since All z j minus c j greater than or equal to zero. The basic feasible. So 
solution is optimal so we can uh, stop the problem right here in this case uh, we uh, got the solution we got the optimal solution in the uh, second iteration itself some problems may go longer so uh, depending upon the values of zj minus cj the same proce procedure should be followed um which we followed for which we followed before by finding the pivot uh, new pivot element and the new pivot row and the same iteration should be followed till zj minus cj is greater than or equal to 0 okay now we have got the uh, value of uh, x2 as 20 so this is the value of x2 and so x2 equal to 20 and uh, x1 equal to 0 since we haven't got any value for x1 we should take it as 0 and the objective function so uh, this is the uh, objective function we should substitute the values of uh, x1 and x2 in this uh, z equation which is the objective function uh, which implies that 4 into 0 plus 10 into uh, 20 will give us uh, will give the give the solution as 200 so z is equal to 200 so this this is the final solution for this problem thank you guys for